guys i'm back this is hank it is july 6 0003 this is video four now this picture when i drew it it um i mean it's very obvious what you see there uh, you see three extraterrestrials with me on the table and uh, uh, it's really interesting because you can't see it but if you come really close you still can't see it there's a force field here except for this one here can reach me and it's touching me and uh, and then this one here has this thing connected to my head and this was like a view window looking out into the sky I don't know if that's the, I mean those are stars as I drew them even though some of them are round which is really interesting and then you still have these figures here, those four big stars. And that one looks pretty big too, some of those. I don't know if those are ships outside or what it is. Uh, I thought it was really interesting. I made this wheel over here. All of it I was just inspired to do so. So it's red, orange, red, orange, yellow, green, light blue, indigo, violet. The chakra colors on that wheel there. And I really think it's interesting because it looks like there's a yin and yang figure in the middle. I don't know if... Um, I don't know. I don't, I'm trying to think about it when I drew it. Did I mean to do that or not? But um, I guess I did mean to do it because there it is. And I think it's really cool. And it has so much more significance now than it did then. Now, what I thought was really interesting when I drew these, like, little babies in these uh, pods, you can see in my, I guess this is representing to me, like, the hybrid program or whatever. But I never knew of a hybrid program way back when. Um or, or did I? Okay, I've read all the Whitney Strieber stuff, so, you know, I'm, I'm not going to sit here and try and lie and pretend, but um, this is, uh, like I said, even now it has so much more significance. I like how these little circles of blue that are in between there, and I just see light blue as uh, a communication, you know, the uh, throat chakra. And uh, I always equate everything to color, so it's really interesting that this one is green, which would be the healer, and uh, and this uh, one here is not really touching anything or doing anything, but it's violet, and it's just holding, I say, a high vibration. And look at that face. If that's almost like a smile, <laughs> not a smile, but it's like, I don't know, I guess it's the most friendly face of these, and this one here, I mean, you know, I'm sure he's a white, he's a tall white or something, but he has his hand on my face. He's doing something for sure, but yet he's still maintaining. I, uh, just like, like they're working on me energetically, and of course there's some technology there. Uh, it's interesting that it's green in the background, which I see that as a healing color, if anything. Uh, this is actually a really big picture. This is a photograph of it. Um, anyway, and I think it's interesting that my body is blue, which is that still that communication color. And uh, and this blue around here is a little darker. So if that was throat chakra, then that would be indigo blue there. That uh, that connection from the higher realms, I would say. Anyway, just because I put the other one with the being uh, abducted or visiting or whatever in the other picture, I felt like this one should be the next one. But, um, like I said, as you look at this, is there any significance for you? Or if anyone has ever had this um, happen to them before, you know, or if they felt like they've been in a scenario like this, you know, leave a comment down bottom and let me know. I'll shut up and just go real close and slow.
three fingers and an opposing thumb. That reminds me of one of my quantum healing hypnosis therapy sessions. Look at that hand. Alright guys, thank you very much for watching. I do appreciate it. Love and light.